guy took two pills of ashwagandha daily and after using five bottles of ashwagandha this is what happened to his liver and yes this is a real case report Boy is 23 years old. He graduated from the engineering school, was pretty much an ambitious boy, and he was planning to do master degrees. But some tragic events changed his whole life plan. His beloved grandmother passed away. He had a really hard time coping with her loss. He spent so much time grieving that it was too late for him to register in any semester. After some quality time from his friends, he decided it's time for him to move on. And the first thing he wanted to do is to go back to gym. And there was this new coach after talking to Roy and knowing what he been through he recommended the ashwagandha pills he said it will make you feel less stressed and more focused at your exercise especially that he no longer eat healthy food only fast food ever since his grandma passed away so he recommended a healthy regimen for food and some other vitamins now he never heard about the ashwagandha pills he said why not after all everyone at the gym said it really helps with stress relief so he headed for the pharmacy bought a bottle of ashwagandha and start taking it every day after eating and it was not long before he started to feel stress free and very calm especially in the first few hours of taking it one of the things he noticed that when he go to bed he directly falls into sleep he usually spend a lot of time like everyone does watching reels and tiktok videos well not anymore for weeks he kept using it and every time he discovered a new benefit after a while one of his friends brought him a job in interview he got accepted however this new job requires a lot of attention a lot of time spent on the laptop so he thought to himself why not increase the dose of the ashwagandha i mean he just got the job and the job is really stressful so why not increase the dose and have even less stress so let me just take two pills instead of one not like it's gonna hurt me it's only a herbal product that is what he thought after a couple of weeks of increasing his dose he started to feel fatigued all the time one thing he noticed that his tool had a really weird color he also experienced a lot of nausea and he thought it's just bad eating habits until one night he had a severe itching feeling he was itching all over his body he couldn't stop anyway he slept on it and said he will deal with it in the morning but in the morning everything was even scarier he was in the bathroom he looked to himself at the mirror and was shocked his whole body whole face is yellowish color it's like he's a yellow man under stress and panic he contacted 911 and was headed to the hospital at the emergency room at the physical examination it is very clear that he has joined this because of the yellow discoloration of the skin and that implied that there's a problem in the liver the yellow discoloration of the skin happens when the bilirubin enters the bloodstream it's not supposed to enter the bloodstream because usually the liver gets rid of it by metabolizing it in the case of a healthy liver but the boy doesn't have a healthy liver as it seems so because the liver is not functioning well the bilirubin accumulates to a certain amount where it starts to pull into the bloodstream precisely it accumulates in the fatty tissues that's why it gives us the yellow discoloration of the skin but what is bilirubin exactly it's just waste product from recycling of the red blood cells in a healthy patient, bilirubin also has a role in the digestive system. So now the doctor's main concern is to know why is the liver not metabolizing the bilirubin and what's wrong with it exactly. Usually what stops a liver from working in a healthy way is a virus like HIV or hepatitis or it may be a liver cirrhosis usually caused by heavy consumption of alcohol. It also can be an autoimmune disease where our bodies start attacking our liver. It also can be a genetic disorder like dopine Johnson syndrome or Gilbert syndrome but all of these causes that I mentioned was ruled out of question after doing a lot of tests but still the blood test was showing that there's a high peak of liver enzymes inside the bloodstream which is not normal high levels of AST and ALT enzymes which made them conclude that the liver is really damaged that it started to leak out enzymes into the bloodstream this case got even worse and doctors were still searching for a reason what was really weird that the doctors at the physical examination that Roy was a non-smoker he claimed that he drinks occasionally he denied using any drugs in the past and had really a healthy lifestyle he 
is taking vitamins and he mentioned the ashwagandha. He also mentioned that he increased the ashwagandha dose in the last few weeks. But the doctors didn't see any red flags because after all, ashwagandha is a herbal product. One of the young doctors suspected that the ashwagandha had a role in what's happening for the liver because he saw a low level of glutathione, which is a natural occurring antioxidant in our body. Why is glutathione so important and really better from any other product you buy from the pharmacy that is artificial antioxidant well because it's really helpful let me explain when you wake up in the morning the glutathione level usually is very high let's say one of your bad habits in the morning is to have a cup of coffee and smoke the cigarette with it when you smoke that cigarette the glutathione gets lower let's say you live in a city and you head out of your house you went for a walk or even drove your car you will be exposed to all kind of toxins but it's not really a problem because glutathione still have some high levels to work on it and let's say at the end of your day you're eating some snacks or you have a headache and you took two pills of paradol glutathione will still have some levels to work on these antioxidants as well so you will reach your bed with a very low glutathione and wake up again with the glutathione refilled and it goes on like this so what this doctor noticed is that the liver must be fighting something or have something that is depleting the glutathione so that's when they headed the finger to the ashwagandha they thought that the ashwagandha must have a toxin like or a free radical which means this molecule will do anything to gain electrons even if it means to destroy everything in its way and that's exactly how glutathione works it gives these electrons to the electrophilic molecules that is causing damage in this case we're talking about the liver and this version of diagnosis started to make a lot of cells after all the boy doesn't drink doesn't take any drugs doesn't even smoke it has to be something within the ashwagandha tablet but the doctors there wasn't familiar with a case of liver injury caused by the use of ashwagandha it's really rare in 2021 a study conducted was able to relate dna damage caused by the use of ashwagandha therefore liver toxicity so the question here even if it's happening in very rare cases why is it happening ashwagandha is also called with tanya somnifera when we take a tablet it moves through our body reaching the liver and the liver metabolizes it like it does with all the drugs and nutrients. One of the major metabolites out of Ruthania somnifera or ashwagandha is called withanone. It has a characteristic of an electrophilic molecule. So if it stays this way, it will cause a lot of damage. But the withanone undergoes another metabolism or blockage by the glutathione to prevent its toxicity if accumulated. What happened there is when Roy doubled up the tablets he used to take from one to two or three tablets per day, for some reason, the glutathione was not being produced enough to deal with the accumulated withanon so it got depleted and withanon accumulated and as we said because it's electrophilic it causes a lot of damage and toxicity as a war zone was in the liver that's how he got his liver injury which caused a case known as acute hepatitis and that is how the liver stopped metabolizing bilirubin and that's why he got the itching that's why he got the yellow discoloration of the skin because of the liver toxicity once the doctors knew what's going on the final diagnosis was was herbal induced liver injury it took him three and a half months inside the hospital to regain his liver function again and to get better unfortunately this case is not the only one there is 16 reports in the literature relating the use of ashwagandha with liver toxicity this case in specific has the link down in the description and what's common is that all the patients in the 16 study was also taking a high dose of ashwagandha or for some reason decided to take more pills than usual but I'm not presenting this case to freak you out from taking ashwagandha actually it has a lot of benefits some of them are even proven in clinical studies to not make this video long i will post another video where i talk about the benefits of using ashwagandha and how to take it exactly how to know you're a candidate for using it all of that will be in the next video please subscribe and leave a like if you like the video and really thank you for your precious time this is avij and see you in the next video